faculty colleagues over the last one week i have seen with great satisfaction improved video quality content coming out of all of you i just wanted to take this opportunity to give some more ideas which i feel can increase the the quality of your video presentations i have just taken one of the latest videos from anshu he has explained this extremely well but however with just a little bit of work i think this can become a lot more uh, visually appealing so anshu had this slide on the modes of entry and he created this next slide out here what i did was that all these terms which are there i searched on google and uh, in the images section and what i am going to do right now is to demonstrate how quickly we can put some images for each of these terms and change this slide to a little more dynamic uh, slides which then can be explained uh, very well the way we uh, uh, anshu had explained it so i'll just start i'll create a new slide here i have a blank one so we can i'll insert uh, a text box okay now with with this let's do it one at a time now the first one was indirect exports in order to save some time i had searched all these terms and kept them ready now i will i am only looking at the first few slides and seeing which are, which is the best slide which could represent indirect exports um i can see one here which immediately catches my eye i'll just right click this i'll say copy image and save it here uh this slide can pretty much explain both direct and indirect i'll go on to the next slide so that covers both direct and indirect intra corporate transfers the following one i go to intra corporate transfers which i had already searched before and once again i pick on the first slide or let me do this this is catching my eye a little more so i pick this one copy image yeah so this looks good the third thing out here was international licensing i don't really see something too good but maybe we can just pick this up and then it can be explained yeah nothing is really coming out so we'll just pick this one some text might need to be added to ensure that this slide looks self explanatory it's followed by the term international franchising so 
once again i think i'll just pick this one further uh, sometimes you can have two images and another important thing is that when you click on an image a lot of other similar kind of images come up and at times these images could just be a little better uh, we also uh, have sometimes these kinds of slides which can be picked up now something like this could be a good slide to uh, copy and put it we are now to uh, the some of the special modes contract manufacturing hmm. i think we'll just pick this one up out here followed by the next one would be management contracts i'll just take the first image that comes at times once again some of these images could also be useful i am just trying to take the best first image that i can see this is followed by bpo uh, let's see what we have here this is one option i think i'll just pick this one out here follow uh, it is this is followed by turnkey projects there are few different options this is somehow catching my eye yeah i'll just take this one greenfield strategy mergers acquisitions these are some of the ones which are left i'll quickly complete this just to show comprehensively how this can be done in a few minutes green uh, so we are at greenfield strategy i seem to like one right click copy image then we are on mergers
seems to have become a bit slow. Yeah. I think I have also searched on mergers versus acquisition. Kind of goes hand in hand. Seem to like the slide. Coloring scheme of this is better. This was a big one. So we have it. And finally, I think we have one more slide left, which is joint venture. I should have closed some of these tabs anyway. Uh, let's just put this and then it can be, the slide can be linked. So this is, uh, uh, we can summarize by putting this slide once again. I, I am adding this slide at the end and this summarizes my presentation out here. So as you can see, something which uh, but with a little more time, maybe another 10 minutes, we can explain these points in very graphical way. Why this becomes important is that most of us have visual memories and it really creates a lot more impact when you end up showing these things. And then over this, you explain it in, at the level at which Anshu has explained. It just creates a kind of a video, which is at a completely different level. So once again, thanks a lot. I'm sure there are many different ways of creating impact. It's just ideas that I'm throwing out in order to ensure that you are able to understand how to create great e-learning videos with maybe just slight additional investment of time. And once you are a master at it, it might not really take too much time. Thank you very much.